So RFK Jr. was before Congress and ranking member Stacey Plaskett, the same woman who called Matt Taibbi and Michael Schellenberger, so-called journalists, those who are at the Mount Everest peak of journalism in the Democrat mind is a so-called journalist if they dare deviate from the narrative that the Democrats want to promote. But again, they're attacking RFK Jr. And he fights back and states that he is being slandered and maligned and that they are lying about him. I want to show you the full clip as she once again interrupts. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I'd like to yield my time to Representative Massey. I thank the gentleman from North Dakota. Wow, the irony and cognitive dissonance from the other side of the aisle. It's deafening. You could cut it with a knife. They are at the same time denying that censorship is occurring, but suggesting that there's more material that needs to be censored. This is a hearing on censorship that began with an effort with a formal motion from the other side of the aisle to censor Mr. Kennedy. They do not want him to speak, yet that is the topic of this hearing. They have kept him from speaking. A collusion between the government and private organizations. Mr. Kennedy, in your opening statement, you um, introduced us to this word malinformation. Can you tell us more about this made up word, what it means, and some of the uh, things that you've tr said or tried to say that you've been censored for that's been characterized as malinformation. Yes, Congressman Assey, and if, if, it, if by your leave, I'd like to just respond very Please. briefly uh, to some of the, uh, what I would call defamations that have been uh, just applied to me by the ranking member. Uh, I'm happy to talk to you about my opinions on these issues, what you, the, what you have stated and tried to associate me with uh, through guilt by association is simply inaccurate. Virtually everything, every statement that you just made about me is inaccurate. I have never advised black Americans not to receive vaccines. At one point you say I'm anti-vax and that's a bad thing. The other thing, the <laughs> other moment you point out that all my children are vaxxed. I fact, I'm fully compliant with the vaccine schedule myself, except for COVID. I, I, I took flu vaccines for 20 years straight. I have never been an anti-vax. I have never told any, I have never told the public avoid vaccination. You tried to associate me a moment ago with the replacement theory, which is racist. No, I did not say you the time belongs the to the gentleman theory. from I, the I my colleagues. The time belongs to the gentleman from I denounced country. that theory. It is racist, and I have never endorsed it or had any association with it. Our film on a medical by the, the medical way, Bill apartheid? Buxton, Bill Buxton, who is the black CDC official who ultimately exposed the Tuskegee experiment, tried for years and years to appeal to, to CDC to stop it for 40 years. Finally, he got relief by walking into my uncle's office in the building next door had he held hearings and ended the experiment. I remember that very well. And to say that, that I, I wrote a, I created a film that encourages blacks not to get adequate medical care is just completely abhorrent. If the, Don't if the, use my it's words, the witness's sir. time. Do not yeah. censor the witness. I'm if not the, censoring the, the witness. Yeah. I'm if not the, censoring the witness. He's still talking. It is the, it's I it's my time and I've given it to the witness. Do not censor him. If I'm not the, censoring him. If the views that you and others have applied to me, I've attributed to me, if they were actually true, I can see why I shouldn't be able to testify here today. Those are not true. These are defamations and mal malignancies that are used to censor me, to prevent people from listening to the actual things that I'm saying. And I think, ranking member, that we should have a real conversation rather than an exchange of ad hominem attacks. I really like RFK because he's a man of principle. It's unlikely that I'll ever vote Democrat again, but I could conceivably vote for RFK. But any time that the Democratic machine is slandering someone, he automatically gains my support because I know that he's on the right side of the truth and morality. Because the Democrats have no morals, the only thing that they want is power. Thus, I also hope 
that RFK Jr. wins the Democratic nomination by some miracle. That is my sincere hope because I could live with him as president. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I, once again, despise people like Stacey Plaskett and the Democrats that actively smear knowing that they are spreading half-truths at best. Malignant lies is more accurate.